Hey guys, hope you're all good. Um, please excuse me if I look a bit sweaty and dishevelled. I've just got back from the gym. Um, but I sort of wanted to make this video real quick while these things are still fresh in my mind. Um, any of you guys that work out uh, and, and do cardio uh, as part of your routine will know that you sort of your head goes elsewhere. Uh, so you, can, you don't have to think about what you're doing. And my sort of go-to place, as I'm sure a lot of you guys, is the same. It's uh, toys figures. So I was thinking about something I very nearly did today. Well, it started last night and almost sort of climaxed today. I was in the process of getting the new um, Asmus Toys mask figure. Now, I own the old Asmus mask figure. And if anybody out there who's watching this, owns that or has seen it in person, you will know that it is a custom figure. It's 100% it's a custom figure. Uh, there was there weren't very many made at all. It was sort of the equivalent of a, a modern artist now on Sideshow Freak, sort of putting a run together and releasing a few custom figures unlicensed. And that was the original Asmus mask figure. Now, um, when it was first released, it went for, I don't know, about between 1,600 quid something like that, uh, depending on what time you purchased it. But they weren't available for, for very long. Um, and then, of course, the demand was there, and the figures weren't, so people started selling them for crazy money. And, of course, people wanted them, so they were paying the silly money for them. And I, I saw one go for over a £1,000 once, which blew my mind. But... Um, if you weren't sort of in touch with anybody in the hobby who could make you one or, you know, you couldn't get in on a, on a run or anything like that, then, you know, that was your sort of only option. Now, I was lucky enough to get one of the the original Asmus mask figures um, a long time ago and I didn't pay nowhere near that much for it, thankfully. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's one of the figures that you look at and you can see, yeah, it could be improved here, it could be improved there. And the new Asmus mask figure is an improvement on that. But, so is the price tag. And then, obviously, we know that Colt King have done their funny guy mask figure. And MG's doing his mask figure. Um... So it all depends how much you sort of want to invest into it and how much you want to put into it or if you clash yourself as a high-end collector or you just collect what you like. Um, so many of you guys may know who sort of viewed some, uh, some of my older videos. You know, I do batter on quite a lot about um, not being sort of over-fussed for sort of upgrading, getting the, the latest sculpt or the latest version and I try to convince myself to be content with what I have and... You know, I I felt like kind of a hypocrite um, of late because, you know, there's quite a few figures that either I have upgraded or got the latest versions or I've been tempted to. And, you know, this was just another one. And it didn't go through at the end of the deal. We couldn't come to uh, terms that suit with us both. And to be fair, I was relieved at the end of it. Um, I made the guy an offer. And I was 50-50 when I made the offer. And then I thought, oh, I'll have to get that and then I'll sell mine and that'll help cover for this. And, you know, I thought, you know, I, I need to practice what I preach. I've got, well, I won't even say a number of figures, I'm going to say pretty much every figure I own has been done again or is in the process of being done again. Um, and it's a vicious circle because we need to be content in this hobby. Otherwise, we're just going to keep Pay more money, pay more money, pay more money. And I know we all strive for the best and want the best and want a nice looking collection. But at the same time, you know, we've got to focus our attention on other things in life. You know, it's my nine year wedding anniversary tomorrow. So, you know, that's where my attention should be and is going. Um, you know, and doing something nice for that. As opposed to sort of upgrading a figure that I was already happy with. And I told myself I wouldn't. And, you know, I, I almost got the, um, the Cult King mask figure. And I was speaking to someone who was selling sort of a, a kitbash version, which was half Asmus, half Cult King. And that sort of was 
sort of my plan when I saw the uh, the new figures being made. I thought I'll hang on to my Asmus one and sort of use some uh, tricked out parts from the fan tools. And I may do that, but there is a difference in sort of upgrading a head sculpt and then just completely getting a brand new figure. Um, for instance, I've got a Twin Peaks figure that I commissioned from a guy in Spain many, many years ago. I love the TV show. And now there's a run on Sideshow Freaks to make a Dale Cooper. And, you know, fair play to those people that, that don't have a, a Coop in the collection. And, you know, the new season has sort of restirred interest and made them want to get one. Um, and I found myself looking at that thinking, do I want to get in on this? Dexter's have been redone recently on Sideshow Freaks. Um... Now, obviously, I have the original Ghostbusters by Spencer. Uh, they're getting redone by Blitzway. Jack Burton by um, Spencer and Trevor Grove. That's being redone by Sideshow. Um, you know, the list goes on. Oh, my Mal Reynolds from Firefly. That was redone by Quantum Mechanics. And, you know, it, you have to say sometimes enough's enough. And I'm happy with what I've got. And I'm not going to... Just keep sinking more and more money into this because you know you'll you'll think you've got the the latest ultimate best sculpts and clothing set whatever and then in three four years time you know someone will bring something out which will make the one you've got like crap and that's just the reality of it but if you love your toys i mean kind of off topic but I, my tattoos for instance you know i've got a lot of tattoos and i wouldn't necessarily choose to get these specific tattoos now but when I look at them I can remember you know where I was when I got it why I got it what I was into at the time um and it's almost like a diary and I sort of look at my toys and my figures in a similar way you know I've got some figures that I've had a long long time and I would never ever part with and that's not just one six scale figures you know I've got a lot of stuff from the 80s if you guys have trolled through some of my older videos you know I've got Loads and loads and loads of uh, toys, uh, Thundercats, Masters of the Universe, Brave Star, you name it, you know, I've got it. And I would never ever part with that stuff. Uh, even if they sort of released a new version with brass knobs on, you know, it comes a time where you have to say, look, this is what I like. I liked this at the time and I appreciate it and I loved it. And I'm not going to shit on it now for want of a better term just because the latest things come out. So, you know, you guys tell me how you think about this you know I know a lot of people do upgrade and you know there's nothing wrong with that but for me personally um I like to try and stick with my originals and you know if I love a figure I love a figure um I'm not planning on getting the new Asmus mask and I may get a, a Colt King sculpt or a an MG sculpt if and when they become available and uh, sort of rework it that way but I just thought I'd uh, sort of make this quick video and tell you guys sort of a little bit about what we're thinking today and see what your thoughts and opinions are. Okay, guys, signing out. See you soon. Bye-bye.